Hello fellow space engineers. I was playing around in this planetoid when I decided to try something new. Um, something that is actually related to engineering. So, I was thinking, uh, well, since we can do military engineering in this uh, game, why not do the work that actual military engineers do uh, or have done throughout history uh, to continue to do today? Which is basically uh, building field encampments or field fortifications. So I started to build a fort. And those red structures that you see there, those are the bastions that I designed. And as you might know, they go they go on each one of the corners of the fort. If you want to make it uh, like a polygonal fort, so this brings a whole new dimension to the game. What if you want to build a base in a planet, uh, but you need to drop off the, the resources, or at least some of the prefabricated structures? So that's why I, I decided to build the bunker that you see on the top right section of the fort. That's the basically the stronghold that you drop on first, and it has like everything that you need to get you started. And from there on, I suppose you would have to enter this kind of like burst eye ice view, but in a way the let's say the method or the gameplay mechanic that you're gonna have to take to build such forts or such bases or such uh, mining facilities, it kind of resembles uh, an RTS game. Uh, let me show you an example here in creative mode. I'm just pasting these structures, the bastions, as I go, and you have to go and round, uh, rotate them and, you know, position them correctly so they land in an acceptable way. And uh, very much in like many RTS games, uh, here in Space Engineers, when you are misplacing something, you know, it, the perimeter box that surrounds the, the object turns red, or like there, for example, and it becomes green when you can actually place it. So, since you cannot place anything directly on the surface of the planetoid, what I like to do is I align them visually. I enter my kind of like building command view point, and when I'm satisfied with the position of the building, I just let's see, I just drop it. Let's move it a little bit better. I think that's enough. And there it is. So, as you can see, I'm trying to align the points in which uh, the wall is going to meet the bastions. I'm using the blast door block because, you know, it enables to basically touch, you know, another blocks without damaging them. And let's say this, these are aligned, kind of. Now what I have to do is uh, add some wall sections and continue building the fort, attaching you know the three bastions to the stronghold, <coughs> and then add some more buildings. I'm trying to create um, like a you know a basic set of buildings that you drop off from the Gaia class carrier, land them into the planet. And from there on, you start building the others or bring them, bring in the other buildings uh, from orbit. So, in a follow-up video, I will explain how to drop and land this bunker here, this uh, stronghold slash bunker. And um, I guess I would have to design a new class of ship to actually build a base, like a base builder. Um, for seeing, it would have to be like a larger type of beetle. Uh, like a large ship beetle, so it can actually maintain itself hovering above, uh, you know, countering the gravity, like I'm doing right here. And maybe we'll have the, cap the capacity to actually build the these small structures and then land them. Maybe having like a big uh, open belly that builds and then we basically cut off the the structure that you just built and put it in place, let's say more gently than what I just did, you know, besides just dropping them. 
well, oh, before I go, on another note, uh, I decided to use this as the ground base, once again the merge block, uh, because they do go flush also against the terrain, there are no, like, no gaps down there, and there's the fact they're quite resistant to those drops. I was trying to use the regular um, heavy armor block for the underbelly of my bunkers, but it ended up being banged and basically every time you reload this scene uh, it kind of like recalculates some of the terrain and it bangs again so in a continuous playthrough you will see your buildings deteriorate from the bottom upwards so okay that's all for now I'll keep you updated with my base construction take care